Hello again and welcome to a quick follow-up to the uh, Upwell Covered Research Facility which spawns an escalation by the name Edencom Covered Research Headquarters. That's uh, what this video is about. Um, quickly, this is the uh, fit I will uh, run in a moment. It is way cheaper than uh, the one I was initially using to run the original site, the Upwell Covered Research Facility. Um, this vessel here is perfectly capable of doing uh, that one as well. So it works for the uh, normal site as well as uh, for the Escalation, the Edencom Covered Research Headquarters. There is even a follow-up Escalation after that. Uh, there should be a video on that uh, later as well so uh, the fit is fairly cheap 440 mil we only have kind of tech 2 stuff except for the uh, c-type medium um, shield booster which is a pithom um, that's probably the most uh, expensive uh, piece of the equipment the rest is uh, either meta or tech 2 we have a ham setup i did bring a tractor beam and a salvager just to you know make sure i can peek at the salvage again and no changes in uh, the uh, sub systems the rigs have been changed to better application because i had to remove the uh, guidance computer from the mid slots to get a, a shield boost amplifier in with the uh, only medium uh, shield booster here so uh, the application went to the rigs and there is a medium capacitor control circuit as well to help with capacitor stability and uh, well that's about it let's uh, jump in and uh, see how the site works So here we go, we are warping and there is one thing that is super important to notice is the fact that once you warp to your escalation, it will spawn a beacon in space. So everybody will know you're running the site and everybody will be able to warp there. So this is not a standard um, escalation where you just warp to your private bookmark and, uh, you know, chill. Uh, this one spawns a beacon. It is in low sec slash null sec. So, um, well, problems obviously may uh, arise here. As for uh, the rats, seems to be uh, the exact, exact same types uh, that we had before, except for the very last spawn, uh, before the site ends or escalates to the next step. This uh, will be a, a Triglavian spawn, I was quite surprised by that. Obviously Triglavians you kind of want to fight with um, explosive ammunition, but it wasn't really a challenge, I, I just caught, caught a little bit off guard about uh, the change of rats. So um, there is not much to say other than I was kind of a little bit distracted slash disturbed by some locals, but um, I asked for uh, them to, to leave me alive. It kind of worked, so uh, let's just have a look at the site. This is uh, twice the normal speed, so we will not uh, waste too much time. There might be one important thing for those of you who want to range tank these sites. This is not going to work because if you're out a certain out of a certain range, the rats will just warp to a uh, ping nearby and warp back on top of you. So trying to kite slash a range tank is not an option.
So with uh, Sniper EG, uh, there was a problem local I uh, wanted to address by just trying to get away from the beacon as far as uh, as possible. And uh, then I thought, you know, how about let's just uh, ask the guy not to shoot us since we are recording. Uh, he didn't reply, but uh, he didn't shoot us either. So, uh, well, uh, we win, I, I guess. But uh, I was still trying to set up uh, a precondition here that may have allowed me to bail when uh, somebody warps in to the Edencom covered research facility that person will land on the beacon if they warp at zero and if I'm far away enough they might not be able to point me and you know if I kind of manage to get out, out of range from the uh, scramming slash pointing rats I might be able to to get away but uh, after some time uh, I give it some time here just to to wait for Sniper EG to to make a move. I decided to uh, to go back in and just run the site because well there was uh, still a chance that I could do it without getting interrupted and uh, I was actually lucky indeed. chance to bail here uh, once I saw the Legion on the scan but I still opted not to because it uh, apparently only passed by or maybe it did cloak up um, and nearby to to watch me doing things here I don't know what happened and here is the uh, final spawn already it being a uh, way wall with um, Triglavians. I first uh, took care of the little guy and then uh, removed the uh, logistics, the Rodiva. After that, well, obviously the uh, Leshak. The Leshak did have some heavy muting and uh, I did also kind of consider to heat my resistances, but it was uh, okay enough so I didn't have to, um, fortunately. The heat I did was mainly because I wanted to speed up the site, so I was heating my weaponry and the afterburner at times to just kind of lower the chances of me getting caught in uh, low sec here by Mr. Sniper EG and well it worked although probably because he was not interested in intercepting goes down the uh, Tree Glavian um, Leshak. A quick peek at the loot revealed like standard Tree Glavian uh, things plus plus boosters and uh, all we have to do is uh, again to kill the uh, decloaked uh, structure that was revealed once uh, the uh, last rat uh, died. So let's go down there and make that happen. I heat my afterburn again because I'm still like all oh, that Sniper EG with its uh, his Loki, uh, sorry, his Legion could be kind of waiting for me. So I wanted to make this as, as quickly as possible. I also did loot all the Triglavian um, containers. There was nothing in the, or well, nothing of value in the Rodiva as well as the uh, the frigate. It was only the battleship that had uh, decent loot. All right, so let's kill the structure, get uh, the loot quickly and uh, warp away. That's how you run the escalation. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.